Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Rusty's Mustang Garage. Today we're going to do something a little bit different as the weather is not actually cooperating. Uh, we're going to be doing a video inside today. Living in the Hudson Valley has its ups and downs. Uh, on one hand, we have all four seasons, which is really nice in the summer. And on the other hand, we have all four seasons. As you can see right now, we're in the middle of a winter snowstorm. My project situation is probably not unique. I'm sure there are other people out there trying to restore a car without a garage. Um, currently I am living in a condominium and I don't have a garage to work in. So right now the car is out of family members where I basically will be working on it on weekends and once the weather starts getting better and the days start getting longer, I'll probably go over in the evenings and do some work there as well. So while I can't currently work on the car because of the weather situation, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done in the background. And one of those things is I need to design and build a chassis jig to keep the car straight while I remove the major structural components of the car, such as the front frame rails and the rear frame rails. A lot of guys can do minor restorations without using a chassis jig, simply by replacing one section at a time, or if they don't have a lot of sections to replace, uh, it's not that difficult for them. However, I have a significant amount of rust in the structural components, like I said, in the front and the rear, uh, the floor. So I'm gonna need something to keep everything straight as I cut the rust out. And not having a permanent location to do this work makes it all that more difficult. So what I'm going to do is build the chassis jig where I can bolt the car down to, and I will be able to move that around as needed. And while I'm doing that, everything on the car will still stay square. So let's head over to Google and see what, uh, what a chassis jig looks like. All right, so when we search for classic Mustang chassis jig, get a bunch of results, but let's go check on the images. That's where we wanna go. Uh, lots of examples to look at, so let's start, uh, start at the top. Basically what the jig is going to be is a tubular structure underneath the car and key mounting points of the car will be tied into it. Uh, here, you know, you have to tying in the, the front core support. Uh, let's see what else, a couple others. Yeah, here they're, they're supporting the rear of the car. This one looks like it's going into the front spring perch. I can't see what they're doing all the way up front on that one. But here's, here's a good close up shot. Basically you're gonna have a, a tubular structure underneath with individual mounting brackets coming up and tying into key locations such as the rear shackle mounts and the front spring perch up here. Here's another side view. Um, basically you know, the same idea, you know, you're tying in key points of the car so that when you cut structural members out of the car, the car doesn't sag. Let's see if I can find some other examples. Here's a pretty good one here also. He's holding up the frame in, in different locations, the front of the frame. Looks like they're probably putting a floor in this one. Here's basically a stripped down version of what that's gonna look like. All right, so now that we have some pictures, let's uh, switch over to Fusion 360 and see what we've come up with there. All right, so this is my first design and it was too short and I went to lengthening it and Fusion didn't like how I did it and it kind of exploded all the parts on me. So I kind of scrapped that and went with the, this design as a second design. Similar to some of the others, um, almost a truss-like truss, truss -like structure for the sides to uh, minimize deflection. But then I started looking at it and I started adding up all the count accounts. I started adding up all the cuts I would have to make and all the welds I would have to make and all the possibilities for something to be out of square or not aligned. Um, and then welding in these long truss members, how do I make sure I'm not welding in an arc? So I had to do some thinking on this and uh, some calculations and whatnot. And I came up with something like this. It's going to be either two by three tubing or two by four inch tubing as the main um, main part of the jig. 
and you'll have individual mounting locations, which are these um, brackets in green. These blue plates are for swivel casters. They're eight inches tall. And with the height of a four inch rail, that means the top of this rail is about 12 inches high. When you add in these mounting brackets, it's going to put the rockers somewhere around the 18 or 19 inch from the floor. I'm not sure if that's too high. So I'm, I'm still still debating about how high to make these these brackets. So and let's, let's take a look at what it's going to look like underneath the car. Don't mind the, the crude Photoshop here, but uh, this is kind of what it's going to look like. You have the key mounting locations, you know, where the, where the leaf spring mounts. Uh, this support here basically just cradles the front frame rail extensions for now. And these two will tie into the front, either at the bumper supports or there's two holes, one on each side of the front of the frame rail. I may tie it into there. Um, haven't decided completely on the design of these outermost supports. There's a lot of uh, discussion whether or not the drawings that are available for these chassis are accurate. There's some talk that some of the measurements are switched and no one really, I, I can't get a straight answer basically, uh, or consensus of answers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start with the two centermost supports and everything else from there I will measure from my car so that it fits. The car is pretty straight. I don't think it's been in any accidents. I do have sag right here in the, by the rockers and the cowl because I took apart the cowl and the side cowl panel. As you can see in this picture here, this whole corner area, you can just put your hand on it and push the car up and down basically. So that's one of the reasons why I'm building the jig to tie everything in. Along with these four supports, it's gonna have two other ones that are gonna grab onto the pinch weld under the rockers and tie that to the main rails. And at that point, I could probably cut off the front end, cut off the rear end, and everything would still be able to be put back square. The whole idea of the jig is just to make sure everything stays in place when you cut other support out. You know, you, you can't cut out an entire rocker area and expect the car not to sag at the roof line. You know, it has to be supported somewhere. And that's what I'm looking at here, just to build this. All right, so let's head back to Fusion and see where I'm going to start this little project. All right, as you can see, this is the whole jig assembly. I'm not going to start with the main uh, rails or the main frame just yet. What I want to do is build these first two um, mounting brackets. We're going to start with the one that goes into the front of the leaf spring mount. It's just going to be two uprights, uh, two by two tubing with a hole drilled to the center where the bolt would go for the springs. I'm probably going to brace this with a, uh, with a diagonal uh, tube. I just haven't drawn it in yet. This one should be pretty easy to build. The second brace that I'm going to build, or second mount that I'm going to build, is going to be the one that sits underneath the front frame extensions. This one's not going to be all that difficult to build either. Just take a little bit longer than the other one. Um, these uprights here are six inches. I don't think I'll need to diagonal brace this. It'll be short enough and there won't be any um, significant rocking across this to make it twist or anything. All right, so I'm probably gonna order the steel in the next day or two. It's not gonna get here probably till after the first of the year, which is fine because Christmas is coming up and I'm really not gonna have a whole lot of time to work on this project until after the first anyway. So uh, let me take this time to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. Uh, 2021 has to be much better than 2020. You know, we can't do another year like this. And uh, if you want to keep up with the build, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, notification bell. And if you would like to check out uh, the car that I'm going to be using this jig for, it's a 1965 Mustang Coupe. I have a couple of videos already up on the channel. Uh, go ahead and check those out. And until next time, keep it real.